पिछले हफ्ते ही केरला में एक अर्थक्वेक आया जिसकी वजह से मुल्ले पेरिया डैम जो है वहां पर कोचिन के पीछे उसमें क्रैक्स आ गए और इतफाक से इस फ्राइडे को इस शुक्रवार को एक फिल्म रिलीज हो रही है डैम 999 जो भी इसी डैम यानी मुल्ले पेरियार डैम के बारे में बात करती है और बताती है कि अगर इस डैम के साथ कुछ नहीं किया जाता तो फिर कितनी लाइव डेंजर में है फ्रेंड्स आज हमारे साथ स्टूडियो में इसी फिल्म डैम 999 के मेकर यानी डायरेक्टर सोहन रॉय है और उस फिल्म की एक्ट्रेस लिंडा आर्सनियो भी है प्लीज वेलकम दैम वेलकम टू ईटीसी बॉलीवुड बिजनेस ये तो बहुत बड़ा इतफाक है कि आपकी फिल्म रिलीज हो रही है और रिलीज से एक हफ्ते पहले ये अर्थक्वेक आता है इसी डैम को आ, मतलब क्रैक्स आते हैं इसी डैम में इज एन इट अ कोइंसिडेंस Yeah, we can say it's a coincidence, but uh, it, uh, for me, it's not, I'm not surprised because we have been expecting this. In the last uh, nine months, we had 22 earthquakes there in Kerala. In Kerala, okay. and uh, this issue has been going on for a long time. Uh -huh. Even four years back, when I planned for the movie, I was looking for a right subject. Mm -hmm. So once I read this, uh, I read an article about this uh, matter. On the spot, I knew that because I'm staying right in front of this dam only in the Cochin city. Oh. So we are all scared actually. So your life is as much in danger yeah, as the other people of Cochin. If it happens, this will be the world's largest man-made disaster. 2.5 million people will be finished. That is scientifically proved figure. So government why not do anything? No, because of uh, there is a contract between Kerala and Tamil Nadu to share this water for 999 years. Oh. It's a bullshit contract signed before independence and got renewed after independence. Achha, achha. And this court case is going on in the Supreme Court for the last three decades. Oh. And surprisingly, so far the world's largest man-made disaster happened is not in Hiroshima or Nagasaki, this nuclear uh, disaster. Mm -hmm. But in 1975, in China, there was a dam disaster. It was called the Bankyao Dam Disaster. Achha. And surprisingly, this Bankyao and Mulaperia got the same capacity. Oh. And Mulaperia is situated seven times more altitude than Bankyao. Bank. That's okay. why the potential energy is very high. It is calculated that the potential energy of Mulaperia is equal to 180 times that of the nuclear bomb used in Hiroshima. Oh, 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 oh my God. So Linda, that scares you? That you've been uh, part of this film? <laughs> Well, it, it was very exciting to be a part of the film, but it definitely scares me for the people mm -hmm. surrounding this dam. Mm -hmm. I think it's a wake-up call. Yeah, it is a wake-up call. Why did you film in English? Why did you make this film in generally Hindi or in South? Why did you make this film in Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam, Kandar? Why did you make this film in English? No, actually, uh, for Kerala, this is a Mulaperia issue. But dams are the biggest threat for the uh, modern uh, civilization. Because across the world, right now, there are 4,000 similar outdated dams existing. Oh. And by 2020, the figure will be 40,000. Oh, oh. And none of the governments across the world, they got the uh, financial backup or the time required to replace all these dams. Because normally for replacing a dam, you need to have 5 to 10 years of planning. Correct. Who will go for all these long-term planning? Because of the political things. Because you will start and somebody else will... Uh, Some other political the, yeah. party will come into yeah. power. So they don't want to give the credit to the others. So this is the main issue. And most of the dams across the world, they were all built after Second World War. Mm -hmm. And all these dams are built using co concrete, most of the latest dams. And concrete technology says after 40 years, there won't be any elasticity uh, in the concrete technology. Concrete. It will oh. be losing every day, okay. Oh. That means after 40 years, it can collapse any time. So normally the life of any concrete dam is 50 years. So that means most of the dams, 85% of the dams built... Uh, uh, will be outdated by 2020. So we need to uh, plan from now onwards at least to replace it by 2020. Then you have not told me why in English? Yeah, kyo? because uh, f um, my plan was to make an international movie because okay. uh, f uh, uh, the movie is produced by Beast TV Network. It's a global television channel. Which is your channel? Hai. Yeah, it's our channel. Uh, and what is uh, Biz TV Network? Biz TV Network. So, this channel is no, no, actually, uh, this is the only television channel for the entire shipping industry in the world. Achha, ye shipping industry yeah, ke the, mein channel yeah, shipping industry in the world. Okay. 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 So, f we decided okay, we should go for an international uh, thing because whether you, um, you make this uh, movie in uh, uh, local language or international language, uh, the message is same. Okay. And uh, this is a global issue. So, let the entire world see this one. 
So because it is in English, Linda has uh, become a part of this film? Yeah, or? naturally. The, when I wrote the story, it was uh, like that. Uh, because if you make 100% characters Indians, uh, it will become just like another uh, uh, slum dog millionaire or something. Okay. But uh, we were trying to make a mix of East and West culture, the stories accordingly. I made the story accordingly. Uh, so that uh, the Western people also will have a feel that this, uh, uh, they are also a part of this one. Okay. So it worked out very well and Linda played a very, very beautiful <laughs> performance in the, the, that one. Now. Linda, you were earlier seen in uh, Kabul Express. Yes. That was a disaster of a different kind. This yes. is a disaster of a different kind. So you're uh, graduating disaster to becoming prone. a disaster, <laughs> <laughs> a disaster <laughs> heroine. Well, in Kabul Express, we shot in, you know, for some time, two months in Kabul, Afghanistan. Exactly. You know, we were surrounded 24-7 by members of the Afghani army. Mm -hmm. We stayed in a compound mm -hmm. and with daily death threats from the Taliban. Mm -hmm. So, and then, you know, now this with the natural disasters. So, mm -hmm. uh, but it's a very interesting character that mm -hmm. uh, Soan Roy uh, created all nine characters, but I play the character of Veer, which okay. is representative of courage. Okay, so characters are also nine in this film. Yeah, actually. So the nine uh, figure has a lot of significance, the damn 999 because of 999 years uh, contract. The movie is all about number nine. Actually, this is a replay for Slumdog Millionaire. Mm -hmm. Because I travel a lot across the world and wherever I go, people nowadays look at Indians uh, through Slumdog Millionaire. Mm -hmm. They all think that India is full of slums. That is okay. not the truth. India is rich with our culture, our family bondings, our Vedas, our uh, music. Uh, our Ayurveda, a lot of things, our astrology, so many things are there. But uh, f so I am, what I was uh, trying to do is, okay, we have a uh, theme, this is a damn disaster. But when I tell the story, we should uh, show the positive things, whatever, the, okay, wherever we are, are richer, okay. uh, that part we need to show it. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have adapted all these things. So one of the elements I selected was the Navarasa concept. Because Navarasa is the greatest contribution to the theatrical uh, world from India because from the Natya Veda it got evolved, the Natya Shastra got evolved. So the Bharat Muni developed this uh, Navarasa concept. So it's a, it's a very beautiful concept. But unfortunately the Western world still they are not aware about this Navarasa concept. Mm -hmm. Or nine emotions uh, mm -hmm. we are uh, expressing through Navarasa. So what emotion does Linda play? Uh, that is a Veer Rasa. Achha, so, Veeras. And okay. luckily uh, Veer Rasa plays always the climax sequence, the, all the action sequence. Uh, she was <laughs> handling. So, so Linda you had to take special training for doing action scenes? Well, I mean, by God's grace, I had already been training. I trained mixed martial arts, oh, extreme so mixed martial arts. Oh, that came in handy arts. in the film? Yes, very much so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And There's do you some... enjoy doing action scenes? I do, and I'm looking forward to doing more of them. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. So, this is made in English, and there are other languages, Hindi, etc. Yeah, this, hai? Is, this is for the first time, a uh, movie is getting released in India in five different languages. Achha. Yeah, we are releasing it in Hindi, Telugu, uh, Tamil, uh, and uh, Malayalam also. Besides the English Yeah, version. besides English, okay, yeah. Okay, okay. And this is simultaneously in five languages. Mein release yeah, all the same on 25th, November 25th, we are releasing it. Correct. This uh, uh, film's Sangeet, you have also released in different cities and different countries, mein bhi release kiya, mere khyal se. Yeah, different, different countries. So, why did you do this? Actually, for, uh, we, because this is, a, the, this is a musical movie as well. If you look at, yeah, okay. it's a, you are looking from the musical angle. The movie, you can watch it from nine different angles. So one angle is the musical music, angle. Huh. So it's a, because Indian music is very rich uh, compared to the Western thing. Correct. Uh, and uh, the first registered music in the world got evolved from India. That is the Veda Mandras. Correct. We, whichever raga you are using, uh, you are using uh, 5,000 years back, the same raga you are using now also. Now also. So the movie as such is starting from the Shanti Mandra. Okay. okay. So it's a research piece by Ausir Pajan, he's, who is a national award winner. Mm -hmm. So there are nine songs in this one. Everything uh, move around this number nine. Because number nine is the most significant number as per Vedic mathematics. Achha. So we have adapted. So you have also nine songs. Yeah, now, uh, now, now uh, nine locations are there, nine uh, uh, songs are there in this uh, movie. So, and nine songs also different moods, okay. Mm -hmm. So if, uh, it's, a, uh, it's a beautiful work by uh, Mr. Ausubi. So why did you release the ninth? Ko release kyon nahi ki? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, actually, in the climax, you can see that the damn disaster, what we are showing is on 999. Okay, okay. 2099 okay. is happening. Like that, uh, the climax is, uh, we have, uh, uh, we, we are showing in the movie. Okay, okay. So, uh, by profession, otherwise, your first film is about uh, director, yeah. writer. But you have a television channel, yeah. uh, yeah. what else do you do? I'm basically a ship designer. Uh, it's a naval architect because normal architects, oh. they design uh, buildings, huh. I design ships. Ships, achha. Yeah. Yeah. Achha, achha. So, ships, how did you feel about ships in films? 
actually the uh, movie making by uh, was my pa- passion a long always back. after my engineering i joined film industry for some time but i had to quit it because of the pressure from my family okay uh-huh. then i joined the my profession <laughs> but after by 2003 i decided i need to do something on the visual media mm-hmm. so i took a diploma in film direction and production from hollywood film institute then i had to do a project Achha. so my project was to start a television channel okay Achha. so i successfully did it so then i started making programs for this channel then i got the confidence jo aapka channel hai yeah sahran mm-hmm. channel so uh, then i got the confidence uh then i decided okay this time to make a movie and this so, time there were no family pressures not to do no no because he said no this movie i also i am making as a part of branding of uh, maritime industry mm-hmm. okay if you are looking from the mariners angle is a mariners movie mm-hmm. because a uh, lot of mariners acting in this movie uh, the this entire uh, project is supported the maritime industry uh, and uh, even we are showing a ship in this movie which is supposed to be the biggest floating object ever shown in any movie it is going to uh, enter the guinness book of world records it's a 330000 tonner tanker we are showing acha to ye film banane mein jitni badi badi aap tons ki baat kar rahe hain paisa bhi utna hi zyada laga hai or it's not a very big budget no it's a 10 million dollar budget actually if you look at from the hollywood studio angle it's a 100 million dollar project it's Mm-hmm. that script if you make it in any hollywood uh, studio it is 100 million worth project but since we made the entire thing in india mm-hmm. with a made in india stamp uh, with the entire crew production crew except uh, this uh, four actors from hollywood entire uh, job was done by indians so we could reduce this uh, budget to 10, uh, 10 million 110 uh-huh. okay 110 okay yeah magar uh, uh, ye india mein to release ho rahi hai simultaneously फॉरन कंट्रीज में भी आप रिलीज कर रहे हैं या वो बाद में करेंगे वी हैव ए ह्यूज मार्केटिंग प्लान सो आज पर दैट नाउ आवर ऑस्कर स्क्रीनिंग इज ओवर एट लॉस एंजलिस सो द ऑस्कर नॉमिनेशन विल बी कमिंग बाई नव डिसंबर एंड सो इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द ऑस्कर नॉमिनेशन द इंटरनेशनल रिलीज विल बी फिक्सड because if there is a nomination we can release only after march mm-hmm. because the marketing value will go up correct so uh, what we are now doing is uh, for, we are releasing in india and middle east right now wherever indian population is there okay. so that we can basically for the indian population yeah, abhi yeah, aap release yeah, kar rahe we are uh, just establishing the movie among the indians mm-hmm. so that the hype we can create the hype and then go to the international market so that is our uh, present marketing plan okay okay and linda how was it working in this film along with other co-stars i think there are four heroines in the film right Yes, there's four females mm-hmm. uh, along with five males mm-hmm. to make up the nine characters. Nine characters. And it it was awesome. I've, I've been I've been living and working in India for mm-hmm. some time now, mm-hmm. so I'm normally But we working. don't get to see too much of you. Why? You restrict yourself or uh, the offers coming your way are Oh no, it's not about restriction. There are offers. I'm just very particular and keen on playing mm-hmm. the correct characters mm-hmm. at this point. Mm-hmm. And I mean by God's grace, I've I've worked throughout India. I've mm-hmm. I've worked in Bollywood and Telugu and Malayalam and mm. Tamilian mm. so I <laughs> definitely made my way around India but working on this project in particular was nice cuz I I am used to working normally with Indians but we got we have Joshua from America there's another character so it was nice to be working with all of it. it's very much international to have Indians and Americans everybody working Sabitary together mm-hmm. so is film ki shooting bhi aapne Kerala mein hi ki hai no we had nine locations acha locations bhi nine nine the script was 99 pages Oh. <laughs> okay so uh, the even the shooting days you can say that it was total shooting days was 91 but uh, with the camera uh, moving uh, motion ca- uh, camera it was uh, 90 days one day was with the still cameras for okay. the special effects okay okay so movie cameras was 90 days <laughs> 90 days yeah <laughs> so for everything revolved so around so kerala ke alawa aur kahan kahan no, shooting no we had a shoot in uh, alappi uh, in ernakulam then adrapalli then uh, uti पीछे डैम रामोजी फिल्म सिटी द मेन लोकेशन वॉज रामोजी फिल्म सिटी तो जी मुझे एक और चीज बताइए आप तो जानते हैं कि इंडियन फिल्म इंडस्ट्री बहुत ही स्टार सेंट्रिक है जब तक स्टार्स नहीं होते हैं पब्लिक सिनेमा घरों में नहीं आती है तो आपकी फिल्म में जाने पहचाने स्टार्स नहीं है बड़े नामचीन स्टार्स नहीं है तो आप ऑडियंस को सिनेमा घर तक कैसे लाएंगे थिंग इज सेम ऑल द एपिक मूवीज यू टेक फॉर एग्जाम्पल टाइटेनिक वेर इज द स्टार okay the subject the theme is the star mm-hmm. we have built uh, we build up the marketing strategy everything accordingly only mm-hmm. in our movie the main thing is the script and the uh, the, the concept okay, okay. Uh, and uh, all uh, the people like linda they are supporting it okay mm-hmm. they are the pillars okay mm-hmm. but uh, we are quite sure that this subject there is uh, there is no tickling subject like this damn issue mm-hmm. so that is more than sufficient to at, uh, attract the people once you are in the uh, theater you will bring 10 people that is 100% sure 
चलो यर्स विशिंग यू ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट मिस्टर रॉय एंड लिंडा यू टू एंड लेट जस्ट होप कीप ऑफ फिंगर्स क्रॉस कि जिस तरह गवर्नमेंट ये डैम डिजास्टर के बारे में सोच नहीं रही है एटलीस्ट पब्लिक इस फिल्म के बारे में सोचे और सिनेमा घर तक जाए थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू थैंक यू